Moore says pets. Gary and Kate's daughter Sophie took her own life in 2021. Today the charity set up in her honour received a $23,000 boost after a nationwide fundraiser. Well, tonight on Flashback, we've got a real whodunit for you. Back in the 80s, Adelaide made global headlines after a $2 million art heist at Carrick Hill. But four decades on, it's still unclear who is responsible. It's one of the jewels in Adelaide's tourism crown. A stately home left to the people of South Australia by Bill and Ursula Haywood, filled with fine furniture and amazing art. But back in 1986, Carrick Hill was also a crime scene. Police believe the gang knew exactly what they were looking for. In the middle of the night, four paintings were stolen in what at the time was Australia's biggest art heist. Tahitian woman, painted in 1891, worth half a million dollars. The gouache watercolour big tree, priced at $500,000. Gauguin's shepherdess, painted in 1886, also worth half a million. In addition to the three Gauguins, this painting by Eugene Baudin. Thieves gained entry simply by smashing that window. Police believe the raid was a two-man operation which would have been over in a matter of minutes. The thieves penetrated the elaborate internal security system designed to detect movement in the house by intricate electronic surveillance. By the time police arrived, a little after four o'clock, the thieves had fled the scene with the paintings. I've got no doubt they knew what they're after because um, three Gauguins there together across the one wall uh, is what they've aimed for and taken them out very, very rapidly. The theft made international headlines with Interpol alerted. Police believe the four paintings were too expensive to be fenced on local markets and they've already headed interstate or possibly overseas. The paintings were recovered six days later after a secret operation involving Carrick Hill director David Thomas and Liberal MP Heine Becker. For one of the key players, Heine Becker, it was a week of high drama. In a scenario reminiscent of an Ian Fleming thriller, he and David Thomas visited their informant during the week not knowing what the outcome might be. <laughs> I've never been so nervous in all my life. But curiously, no one was ever charged. Then questions were raised about the authenticity of the paintings. Uh, said to be worth in total $2 million, but only, it seems, said to be. There's some speculation over the authenticity of Gauguin's Tahitian woman and the shepherdess, valued at $500,000 each. Carrick Hill's director Jim Schoff sent two of the paintings to London several months ago for expert study. They've been replaced on the walls by colour photographs accompanied by a card which admits their authenticity is in doubt. I am confident that we will get a yes or a no answer and the odds at the moment look like a yes. In the meantime, rumours continue. Are the two Gauguin masterpieces expensive fakes or are they genuine? They were declared fakes, but who painted them and who stole them will probably never know. Wasn't well, you, was it? Oh, I wish. <laughs> I know what you like, that's all. <laughs> hey, hey uh, Bruce, good wins, but a couple of...